that I studied in the Kaliya Sharia, right? So in, in the Faculty of Islamic Law. You know, when I got to Medina, I had the impression that if the scholars had differed over something, then it was, pro- it was most likely that one scholar hadn't heard the hadith or hadn't come across that, the evidence. You know, that was uh, Bilal Phillips's book, May Allah Reward Him. I benefited so much from him. He's going to get a lot of, you know, good deeds on the Day of Judgment, inshallah. Amen. But, you know, like his one book. Um, Evolution which, of Fiqh. Evolution of Fiqh, yeah. I, I was thinking the Arabic version of Tariq al which is what he based the book on, like left me, whether it was his intention or not, left me with the impression that that accounted for most of the differences of opinion between all of that. Okay. So now you're in Kulit Sharia in Medina. You're studying Bidat al-Mujtahid by Ibn Rushd, right? Uh, every semester you're memorizing 125 fiqh issues, Masa'id, with all of the different aqwal, right? The opinions and the adilla and the evidence and the uh, reason, you know, and, and Ibn Rushd, he focuses on the reason why there was disagreement. So I started counting and I said, okay, how many or what percentage of these disagreements is Ibn Rushd saying that are responsible because one person didn't hear the evidence or one person didn't hear the hadith. And in the first semester, out of 120 masail, I only found a single one. Every single other issue, they were using the same evidence. It was just they were disagreeing in how they understood the evidence. Right. Right. So if you take the example of how much of your head to wipe over, right? Wamsahu biru usikum, Allah says in the Quran, right? Wipe your heads, okay? That single letter, ba, biru usikum, what does it mean? Does it mean all of your head? Does it mean part of your head? Does it mean most of your head? Does it mean just like the smallest amount that could possibly be called your head? Those are the four different opinions of the madahib. Yeah. Right? Off of a single letter. They all use the same evidence. It's just about how to understand the evidence. Right. So that was my first sort of like, huh, okay. I stopped counting after that semester, obviously. It was like, there's much more to the disagreements and the differences between the Ramat than just a lack of information or an asymmetry of knowledge. There's actually discrete sort of methodologies of legal reasoning mm-hmm. that are responsible for how, you know, downstream that they decided that they're going to prioritize this evidence over that evidence or, you know, combine it like this or, or whatever.